Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky on Monday called for swift action on pledges made at a meeting with Allied military leaders at Ramstein Air Base in Germany last week. Following a report on the meeting's outcomes by Ukrainian Defense Minister Rustam Yumarov, Zelensky stressed the urgency of Allied assistance to help cut Russia's combat capabilities. What is needed in September must be delivered to our troops in September, Zelensky said in his nightly video address. Zelensky appeared in person at the meeting of the Ukraine Defense Contact Group, telling partners that Ukraine needs the ability to strike deep within Russia now. The group gathers regularly to coordinate weapons aid for the war effort. After thanking troops for steadfastly repelling Russian assaults and reclaiming our positions, Zelensky said that equally important is destroying as many of the occupiers' forces as possible. In the Pokrovsk and Kurikov directions, the Russian army must lose as much combat capability as possible, he added. Russia has intensified missile and drone attacks on Ukrainian cities in recent weeks, targeting energy infrastructure across the country and causing deadly strikes in residential areas. Сьогодні була доповідь міністра оборони України Умірова за результатами Рамштайну та його перемовин з партнером. Всі досягнуті домовленості мають бути реалізовані максимально швидко. Те, що потрібно у вересні, має бути поставлено у наші війська саме у вересні. Дякую всім нашим підрозділам на фронті, які забезпечують повне виконання завдань та дійсно стійко відбивають російські штурми і відновлюють наші позиції. І це важливо. Так само важливо знищувати якомога більше сил окупанта. Покровський напрямок, Курахівський, саме там російська армія повинна втратити якнайбільше боєздатності. The successful offensive of the Ukrainian armed forces in the Kursk region was a heavy blow for Russian ultra-patriots. Z-propagandist Yakov Kedmi could not restrain himself and spoke out extremely harshly against the army and the Russian authorities. He made bold statements in an interview with the Bulgarian channel, Pogold Info. Kedmi expressed confidence that the main goal of the Kursk operation was propaganda. And the Ukrainian forces carried it out magnificently. First, they showed that the Russian army is weak. Second, that the Ukrainian army is strong. They succeeded. They did not start throwing them out from there. The Ukrainian army turned out to be much stronger than the Russian general staff and the Russian leadership expected, the propagandist said. He noted that during the Great War, Ukraine had already carried out such lightning attacks with a breakthrough of the front many times. Meanwhile, the Russian armed forces are marking time, waging bloody battles for the forester's hut. Russia cannot defeat Ukraine. Russia's actions prove that it is not capable of breaking through the Ukrainian defense and winning. Russia could not defeat small Ukraine. Russia, which boasts that it has the strongest army in the world, could not cope with the Ukrainian army, Kedmi said. He expressed confidence that the Kremlin will not achieve its goals in this war. It is already obvious that Ukraine has survived this war and has survived as a state. The expression demilitarization is a laughing matter today. Conduct demilitarization at least in the Kursk region on Russian territory before you conduct it on Ukrainian territory, the propagandist said.